look at what we've got the most amazing animal in the whole wide world in my opinion and we actually had a request this afternoon from Millie who is only eight years old and uh, she was wondering if I could find her some elephants while she's been recovering for surgery well here we go Millie here are your elephants and I'm sad we just missed a mud bath because it's very very funny and I'm sure it would have put you in a very very good mood to watch an elephant splash around in the mud but it's quite a cheeky fella this little one maybe or should I say she maybe she's going to turn around and charge us she seems to be quite frisky look at her all on her own she doesn't need anybody by her side she's a big and strong enough girl and she's not very old either and she's already demonstrating that kind of attitude isn't that funny she's a strong independent woman as cliche as what that is that is what she's exhibiting right now and now I'm going to look for things to eat I hope it is a girl it does look like it is a girl Sometimes it's so hard to tell when they're young. Yes. All the shiny mud now. Not really eating too much, just nibbling on little bits here and there. But isn't this precious? Now, it isn't a teeny tiny tot which we've been seeing over the last couple of days. This one's a little bit older. Ooh, ooh, quickly hit the reverse. I found something else that I like the smell of. Did you see that? As it was walking, its trunk was just about between its legs and went, Ooh, no, I like the smell of that. That plant is delicious. So I would say that this little one's probably about a year, maybe even a year and a half old already. It's not small. Well, that is still little, isn't it? Um, it still behaves like an elephant, but at this age, they're actually really funny to watch. They normally do put on a show for you and in, enjoy performing in front of the camera. I don't know if they know that they're being filmed. Sometimes I do. Now, Sinek, you're wondering if an adult elephant would help a little one um, if it got stuck in the mud. Um, most certainly, I have not seen it personally, but I have seen many clips of um, situations exactly what you've just described. So, uh, yes, they will. Elephants are so social. They, they're basically the breeding herds are all just females. For those of you who have first time watching Safari Live, I'll quickly recap. So it's a matriarchal system, and it's very important that they're constantly chatting with one another, and that they do. A lot of their, of course, their communication is done through frequencies which we can't hear, um, but they're affectionate, they touch one another, they talk to one another, and um, it is indeed very important. I'm watching this little one. I think it's going to come back and tease us. I'm just watching because it's sneaking up. You know what, Manu, can I change our angle very quickly? Thank you. The reason why I want to do this because where is that little one going? Why is it going behind us? Yeah. I'm going to turn a little bit more. Oh, you big baby. <laughs> Look, she's running back to tell mom what I just did, that I turned the car and gave her a fry. You are a drama queen, little elephant. <laughs> It's funny how they do that, and they really do run back and tell in, on you. It's um, one of the funniest things to watch, especially when you'll have a group of youngsters of a similar age playing together. And we actually see that quite often with the various animals, the ones that are social. So the little ones will gather with one another and sort of keep each other occupied. And I suppose the parents are well, very excited by that fact. And um, when they're in a big group, my goodness, and mom's nearby, of course, mom always has to be nearby. They'll come charging over to the car, trumpeting, ears flared, tails poking out. It's always one of the most entertaining things to watch. Yes, serves you right now. You've got a little something stinging your bottom for crying wolf. <laughs> and I didn't bother it too much. It was. It's just how little elephants are. One minute they're fine and they're right next to your car and then the next minute they realize how small they are and how far away mom is. <laughs> and I suppose that's a good thing that they panic every now and then and go running back. Otherwise they get too brave and wander off. Now, Stephanie, you're wondering, what are those bumps on her ears, or is it just mud? No, you're quite correct. It's, it, it is mud. Uh, you can see all over their body, um, and, and that's just from the mud now starting to dry in the sun, so it's sort of becoming quite crusty. And that little one's just had a mud bath, so it just shows you how hot it is today. Uh, that, well, it's not going to take very long for an elephant to, to dry. Hello, everyone. I'm just looking around. We've got lots of different 
little pairs here, mom and offspring standing to one another. I wonder if this is a fairly young group of female elephants. And the reason why I say this is because there's mom with a youngster. And I think that this one on the right maybe belongs to that female over there. So she's only got two offspring. She could have had more, but normally you'll see them traveling with their daughters. And then we've got another one down there, and that's just two elephants. That's just mom and offspring. You can see. And that little one's almost at the age now where mom should be bearing another and almost getting ready to give birth to another calf. But I didn't look like there's one, a calf inside there. And then we've got a third set just over here. And to our right, they're feeding right up towards the car. So isn't that interesting? I'm wondering. Well, there's more elephants coming up. Maybe there's a a few others in there but I just found it really interesting that these little individual groups on their own with their offspring like I said normally the others will be you know just around them sorry Alice I didn't quite catch who are oh there we go thank you Ah, so it's a question from Yvonne and you're wondering if I've noticed any difference between the elephant behavior between the elephants in the Mara and the elephants in Juma I can't say that I have. You know, I was pleasantly surprised um, to see how relaxed the elephants were around the vehicles. I thought that I was going to come to Kenya and it was going to be a little bit like Zambia in the sense that when you view the elephants from a distance, not too comfortable about coming around the vehicles, comfortable about coming in camps. But a lot of the times these animals have <laughs> are able to free roam for, for many sort of distances uh, and traveled into different places. Sometimes they don't always have the greatest relationship with people right through. So I thought, okay, maybe they're going to be a bit nervous of us. Completely opposite I mean the proof is in the pudding we're being surrounded by elephants at the moment and they're quite happy to just sort of feed in in our direction um, barring the group of elephants that are around camp so that I was surprised about I thought that would have been a difference but it wasn't um, maybe the fact that these elephants are feeding on more grass here and sort of like little um, forbs that are pushing out through the ground I have yet to actually see any doing much browsing just yet but there's so much green uh, lush grass around me, no elephants love to eat grass. So I can't say that I have. Um, I'm just trying to think, mud bathing is the same, you know. So no, unfortunately, Yvonne, I haven't noticed anything. But if I do, I'll promise I'll let you know. Anyways, Janie is out and about, driving around on, I think she's in the north, in fact. Let's go and see where exactly she is.